We are looking at LSAT Prep Test 84, Analytical Section 4, Questions 12 through 17. Game 3 is an in and out and grouping game. There are six actors, F, G, H, J, K, and L. Four out of six actors are assigned to M, T, or C. There are two slots for C. Two actors must be out. The rules are as follows. Rule 1. If F is in, then G must be out. Rule 2. If H is grouped with C, then J must be grouped with M. Rule 3. Either F or H must be grouped with T, but not both. Rule 4. K cannot be grouped with C. Now let's draw a diagram and make deductions. First, we can note the contrapositive of Rule 1. If G is in, then F must be out. We can also note the contrapositive of rule 2. If J is not grouped with M, then H must not be grouped with C. Then, we can take the logical equivalence of rule 3. We know that rule 3 is an exclusive disjunctive or an exclusive or statement. An exclusive or statement is logically equivalent to the negation of a biconditional statement. Rule 3 means that if F is grouped with T, then H must not be grouped with T. And if H is not grouped with T, then F must be grouped with T. We can take the contrapositive of these two conditionals. The contrapositive of the first statement is if H is grouped with T, then F must not be grouped with T. The contrapositive of the second conditional statement is if F is not grouped with T, then H must be grouped with T. Because F is mentioned in more than one rule, we can synthesize rules 1 and 3 to build a logic chain. First, we know from rule 3 that if F is grouped with T, then H must not be grouped with T. We also know that if H is not grouped with T, then F must be grouped with T. We can note this with a double-sided arrow. This can be synthesized with rule 1 and the facts of the game that if F is assigned to T, then F must be in. This would mean that G must be out. We also know from the game type being an in-and-out game that if H is out, then H cannot be grouped with T. Looking at this logic chain, if H is out, we can see that the game is restrictive. We can see how restrictive the game becomes if H is out by filling out the table. If H is out, then H must not assign to T, then F must be grouped with T, then F must be in, which means that G must be out. Because we have two actors, G and H, who are out, then all of the remaining actors must be in. J, K, and L are left to be placed. Rule 4 states that K must not be assigned to C. Because T is already occupied by F, then Rule 4 would force K to be assigned to M. Then J and L are assigned to the remaining spots. Now we are ready to answer the questions.